Hey everybody, Dane Clement here with Stalls. In today's secret sauce, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a little bit about some color management. We're not going to get real deep because it's a really complex uh, topic, right? But last week, I think it was last week, was at the Printing United show. Aaron and I started talking, talking to some other people, and we a couple questions came up as far as um, which should I create my artwork in? And it's kind of funny because it's just like artwork, right? It's a personal preference. I like to create all my artwork in RGB all the time, forever and ever, amen. That's how I do it. You might not want to, right? Depending on what you do, right? Because I do artwork for screen printing and direct-to-garment printing and DTF stuff. Uh, so if you're going to print, if all you do is digital printing, then man, you might want to create it in CMYK. But I would probably say you should at least look at creating it in RGB because that's the best your artwork will ever look, right? That is your computer screen, all lights, going straight into your eyeballs, right? About the best it's going to get. So knowing that, uh, you can fake it, right? You can see what it's going to look like on a CMYK printer uh, after you create the artwork. Uh, typically, no one's going to see it side by side. Like I have a printed shirt and I have a digital whatever. I mean, might compare it, but you'll never get it, ever get what you see on a digital format printed, right? Just, it's not possible. So... What I'm going to do is uh, I'll show you how to set up your files first, and then I'll show you a couple of files, uh, you know, that will show a little degradation, I guess I could use uh, as a word, uh, as we as you convert to CMYK for that process. And you might want to do that. I would recommend doing that to show you customers and stuff. But we'll get to that part here in just a little bit. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to set up a new file. So what I did is in Photoshop here, I just went File New, right? This is my new window. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to inches because, uh, you know, I am in America. All right, and I'm going to do whatever you size you want to do. I like to set my stuff up at 14 inches by 14 inches. And my resolution is at 300 pixels per inch. And again, I use RGB color uh, for many reasons. If you want, you can click on this thing and make it a CMYK file up to you. But I'll kind of explain why I do it this way. Uh, I want my background to always be transparent, right? I want to make sure that I don't have to remove my artwork from a background. So let's do this. So once I get to that point, I can scroll down a little bit and I have a color profile. Now, if you have your own equipment or if you're using an outsource uh, service provider, they probably will tell you, hey, create your artwork using sRGB, right? Which would be right here. And the reason I say that is because that's like the dumbed down version of RGB, right? So it gets rid of a lot of the fringe colors that are pretty tough to uh, create and print. Still can't pre print all the colors using this uh, particular uh, profile, but um, it's, I guess they say it's more closely manageable or matchable, right? So um, you, can, you can use that if you want. I don't. If you notice, my, my Photoshop was set up to Adobe RGB 1998. That's the one I like to use because I get better colors, right? No matter what I'm printing on. So, for instance, if you got a DTG printer and you've been trying, you've been struggling with your colors not being bright enough, or maybe your blacks look like a charcoal gray and they don't look really black, just try this. Change your profile to Adobe RGB 1998. Give it a shot and see what happens, right? I notice my blacks are always richer. My colors are always more vibrant. That's why I use it. Uh, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit create. And then now if I was going to create artwork, I would do it right here. Uh, and if you're going to do CMYK, let me show you a little something. I'm going to just go ahead and get rid of this one, right? We're going to go over here. AI uh, um, created Jacqueline. It looks pretty cool. So we got really bright neon type of greens and we got some oranges, right? So that is my original. This next one right here says copy. This is exactly the same file. I didn't do anything to it yet, but what I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to show you, go to image mode, and I'm going to change it to CMYK. So watch my screen. You kind of see the green sort of died off, right? So that's a CMYK. That's my RGB. So I'll just kind of flip back and forth a couple times. And you can see it's not capable of printing that really neon green, right? That super hot green. It can't do it in CMYK. So you get this. Still not bad. looks pretty cool. Um, but that's the difference, right? So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one and the other one here. Uh, different colors react differently, though, right? So here's another one. Happens to be, again, AI stuff. But this one here is got a lot of pinks, purples, I guess. You know, Pantone's sort of purple. 
oranges and reds. And, you know, again, this is just a, an exact copy, right? Still says RGB. Just want to show you what happens to this one. Colors react differently depending on the spectrum uh, uh, that you're working on. So I'm going to image and come down to mode. I'll change that to CMYK. Now, that died off pretty, pretty heavy, if I, in my opinion, right? So here's my original. Um, that looks great. Here's my color killed, <laughs> color killer version. Uh, and it's because we can't generate this super mega bright Pantone purple with CMYK colors. That's why. So people say, well, why would you create it this way? Well, a couple of reasons. One, if it's digital, an ad, uh, whatever I might want to do, you know, anything digital delivered, um, I can get that hot color. So I like it. I want it to be there. If I'm a screen printer, I can separate this. I can use neon bright colors like that and duplicate exactly what you're seeing here. I could put a turquoise in here. I could put a blue, a royal blue type of thing. I can have multiple colors to achieve this look. So I can get really close to exactly this uh, look on a printed shirt if I'm screen printing it. If I'm printing it digitally, then I'm sort of stuck with this. Now, a couple things you can do. So real quick, I'm going to go to image menu, come down to adjustments, right? And I'll go to selective color. Then I get this window. So what I want to do is here is I'm going to go down. Let's just uh, I just want to affect these magentas. So let's just sort of maybe pull out some black, right? You kind of see it change a little bit. I'm going to pull out a little cyan as well. And you see it gets a little brighter. Now if I juice up my magenta, right? It kind of does like that. Um, I can pull back on my yellow that's in there. I can push it up. I don't really want to push it up because then it sits. It's kind of cool, but it sits really close to the oranges. So I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, drop it off a little bit. And if I, now if I turn off and on my little preview do box here, you can see a change. Not exactly my original, right? But still much better than it was. So that's just a, a quick way to do it. If you want to show your customer, right, what this thing's going to print like, if you're printing digitally, then do like this. Take a screenshot or make your mock-up using CNYK uh, and go with it that way. If you're going to deliver... You know, if you're going to deliver everything digitally, then I would do it this way. If you're screen printing, I would use RGB and get it that way because I think it's going to be the best. So basically, it's a, it's, a, it's a personal preference. If you want to show and work in only the thing that you can reproduce digitally, then you may as well use CMYK. I don't, but you can. There's nothing wrong with it. It will get the job done. Uh, but if I want to screen print, I can separate this, get those hot colors. Now I got it. So... Um, that's all I got for you today. Stay tuned for another one in about a month or so, I guess, ish. So uh, thanks for hanging out. To see more about me, go to danclement.com.